Today, technology is everywhere, including your household switches. Today, we're going to take a look at a Honeywell programmable econo switch. Let's open it up. All right, let's take a look at some of the features here. You can see this is the econo switch from Honeywell. It's a programmable timer, like I said before. It works with lights or motors. Uh, it does have seven seven day functionality as well as a sunrise to sunset feature. Uh, it has a max of 1800 watts if you're using it for like lights and a max of three force horsepower if you're gonna use it to control a motor or like a pool pump or something like that. Um, it has a backlit display. There's no minimum wattage required, which is good if you're, um, you know, putting an LED in or a light. It won't it won't have to um, be a minimum rating, which is good. It can pretty much gives you flexibility to use anything you want. Uh, it's CFL uh, capable, and I have checked. This also does work very well with LED. Um, you can see here, neutral wire is required. Uh, basically, you need neutral to. Uh, run the timer, run the lights, run everything internally in here. So if you do not have a neutral wire, uh, we're going to be installing this. Uh, this will not work. On the back here you can see um, basically it tells you it's compatible with um, all types of lighting up to 1800 watts, ceiling, bath fans, and pumps up to three-fourths of a horsepower. Uh, you can see it does work with CFL. Some of the features, this is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, automatic daylight savings time. There's no need to reprogram. Uh, random mode, turn lights on or off when away from home for added security. Um, three button interface for easy to use and permanent memory. Uh, there's no batteries in here. I think it's all you know, capacitor based so there's never replacing any batteries. So if you do lose power, all your settings will be stored, which is great. Uh, one of the cool things about the daylight savings time feature is you can actually input your uh, longitude and latitude into this system and uh, it will automatically adjust the on and off times each day you know to go match the the change in the sunrise and sunset which is really good if you have like a an external light of your house that's controlled by a switch um, you can put this in and it automatically will come on when the sun goes down automatically go off when the sun comes up so very very cool uh, pretty much just set it and forget it other than that that's pretty much everything you can see it does come with some uh, wire nuts here um, so pretty much everything you need. So let's uh, let's open it up and see what it looks like inside. I'll just rip it on open. Okay. Here's our switch. And our paper here. Some different languages. I'm trying to see. Hold for three seconds to enter setup. Use left and right button to set. Press to confirm selection. So here's our switch here. Um, it's got a little sticker on the front here. We'll take that off so you can see. Just a little little screen there. It does have three buttons, up and right, and a select button. It looks like. On the back here, caution high voltage. Uh, you may damage the product, this is disconnected, blah, 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 pretty much know what you're doing before you mess with this. That's the bottom line. And I will go ahead and say it now, I am not, I am not a licensed electrician, although I do have a pretty strong electrical background, I am not a licensed electrician. So please do not try this at home, this is just for entertainment use only. Okay, here we have our three wires, you can see this one here, our blue is our load. Uh, this will be going out to our lights or our pumps or whatever we're controlling with the switch. The white is our neutral wire and the black is our line. This will be our power in from our circuit breaker. Pretty straightforward. That's um, all we got here to the switch. So let's see if we can get it installed, shall we? Okay. So here we go. Here's the current timer I have. Uh, what I want to do is take this off. This is pretty old, rudimentary. I have to come out here and adjust the times every couple weeks really to match the sunrise and sunset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off. I'm going to install this wall box into the wall and then my switch into the wall box. Cover it up, trim it up nicely with this. So the first thing I do to get started is I need to take this off the wall. 
first things first, I need to make sure that my breaker is off. Uh, to test that, I have this uh, pin here as a live circuit tester. Hear that? That means the breaker is still on. So now we're going to shut the breaker off. Try it again. And we have no beeping now. So our power is killed and we should be safe to work on this circuit. Now just to remind you, I am not a licensed electrician. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. So let's get started. Okay, I think I have everything together now and I have verified that the power is in fact off. So let's, uh, first things first, let's see if we can find some mounting holes in here and see if we can get this thing out. Okay, now I got my wires out. It's gonna be pretty simple, straightforward. We're gonna take my line wire, which is this one, and connect it to my line here. My load line is gonna connect to this one, and my neutrals are gonna tie together. Um, this switch here does not require a ground, so this ground wire um, won't be used. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that wired up, and we'll go from there. Once you get these nuts on here, you really want to get these a tug. Make sure they're on there good. They're not going to pop off. you got a good connection. Um, all your wires are in there nice and tight. You'd hate for something to be not fully connected and have it be, have, have a bad connection and be arcing up inside the wall, which would uh, yeah, probably re re end. Would probably end very bad if that were the case. Now for our last connection, we've got our three neutrals here. I'm just going to connect these three together, put them in a wire nut. Okay, here's our three connections made, and then we have our ground wire here, which is not required for this switch. So I'm just gonna needly, needly, needly tuck it to the back back here, like that. And our other wires, and I'm just gonna kind of get them tucked back up in here, being careful nothing is being pinched. It goes in there like that. The switch is a little deep, so you really need to make sure that your wires are, are out of the way. And always make sure your switch is not upside down when you mount it in there, because that would be bad. Okay, I got my breaker back on and everything looks to be working. Um, it turned on. We got a flashing 12 o'clock. And um, basically, I've written the instructions a little bit here. And this clock up here in the corner means this is uh, the time mode. It's set to be set up here, 7.39 a.m. sunrise, p.m. 4.27. That's what it has stored in the memory right now which is, um, it's not really when I want it to come on. 
Um, so I'll, I'll get into some settings here and look at that. Uh, you can see this big button here in the middle. Right now we are off. If I push this, it goes to on, and we have a little blue LED down here that shows that the light is, I'm sorry, the switch is in fact on. Um, so that's how you manually override it. One push of a button here. Let's see if we can get into the menu here. There we go. Now we can scroll through our different modes. Here's mode, here's time, program. Let's go to time. Let's change our time here. Uh, we want 24 hour or 12 hour. I kind of like 24 hour. It kind of gets all the confusion out of everything. So let's go to 24 hour time. Uh, right now it is, look at the clock here. It is 1500. You know, one year it's 2016. Month is what is it? February. Um, what is it? Today is the 20th. We'll go with that. Different modes here. Um, that is our our time mode where we said to come on and off. At a specific time. This here is a manual mode. Pretty much it just acts like a normal switch. There's no programming involved. You hit this button, turn the light on and off. The next mode is random mode. Um, basically that'll uh, turn the light on and off specific, unspecific times throughout the day. It's good like if you're on vacation, more people would think you're home. You can set it to that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's our only mode. Let's go ahead and go here. This is our screen backlight, high, low, and off. I kind of like it, I like it bright. We'll leave it on high. Daylight savings, on or off, we'll leave that on. Now here's where we set our longitude and latitude. This is really cool. This is how you get the automatic adjustment. It's daily for your sunrise and sunset. Uh, they do include a little chart here. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it gives all the, all the cities throughout the country and their longitude and lat. Um, and Canada, as well as Mexico, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. So I'm gonna go ahead and set mine. Let's see, our my latitude is gonna be 39. Okay, and longitude for me is gonna be 95. go and this is our adjustment factor that is also a column on the thing uh, zero for where I live so I'm gonna leave that zero and that's it now I'll go to our program um, this is where it gets a little tricky this is where you have to look through your instructions to see exactly how you want to set it up so as you can see you know I've got this nice slim cool looking switch now you know I came from this big old honking thing here um, so I feel like I'm taking my external lighting controls up a up a few years in technology. So if you guys like this video, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more videos, subscribe to my channel. That way they'll show up in your news feed when they come out. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me see what you'd like to see unboxed and reviewed next. So until next time, this is Adam for Let's Open It. See ya. Inside, top here. Let no man say I had only had the tool. Let no man say that I only had the tool. Alright, what do we got here? The Vega. Vehicle Emergency Go. Now, most of these uh, boxes have a theme. It looks like this one is a vehicle emergency theme. Let's see what, uh, what's in it. Actually, gives you a list here.